Good evening. Welcome to DC Today. It is Thursday, the 14th of December, and it's good to be with you here, all, all, all of you today. Uh, we had another update in markets, uh, although we had a head fake around 2 o'clock where markets kind of went back to fair value, but we closed up about 79 points on the Dow, which was nice yesterday. Obviously, big news was, was the Fed meeting and rates that stayed the same, but then conversation and, and a press conference and statement following that really pointed to uh, a cut in interest rates just by the Fed, the Fed's own dot plots. It was 75 basis points and uh, markets are priced in almost double that or so, 125 for uh, for next year. So all that all that is good and, and, and fine. We had uh, uh, the good old three handle is back on the 10 year. So 10 year yields closed today at 391. They were down another 11 basis points. So this vicious bond rally continues, which is really great to see. And I just think it's interesting. I don't know that it's official that you can really just declare a soft landing. I don't really know that you can ever declare a soft landing. At some point, you know, we'll have to deal with something. But technically, as of right now, as of today, the Dow closed yesterday for the first time in two years at an all-time high. And then just by definition, since it was up again today, 79 points, it closed another all-time high as of today. And so you had... You know, I don't know if anybody would have guessed that, you know, coming through a global pandemic, which we'd never seen, the world shut down, the world reopening, supply chain issues, you know, pent up demand, all these things caused this, you know, a lot of fiscal stimulus, um, monetary stimulus, the whole thing caused all this inflation. And we were up at 9%. And so the Fed took interest rates from zero to up 525 basis points in one year without an increase in unemployment, with GDP still growing with the Dow closing at an all-time high and with basically a round trip on where interest rates are going to go out of the Fed, which is they're, they're telegraphing that they're going to start reducing rates sometime next year. So it's a lot of good news, frankly. Um, I don't want to get over my skis um, as we get into ski season. Um, but, you know, so so there's no victory lap here. But um, but as of right now, things look pretty good, I have to say, um, in markets and, and where the Fed is at. We don't have a lot of data coming out. From now until the end of the year, a couple of little things here and there um, that are, that that we'll see. Um, I know there's industrial production. I think tomorrow, and the Empire State Manufacturing Index, just things like that, but not really necessarily market moving things. So most likely we'll head into the holidays this year feeling a bit better than we did last year, uh, and I'll, I'll chalk that up as good. Now we just need some more snow. So other than that, we had. Um, Retail sales, a couple of good data pieces today. Retail sales were up much stronger than expected. We were at positive 0.3. We actually expected a contraction of negative 0.2. So tis the season. Consumers out there shopping and, and uh, those retail sales definitely beat expectations. Jobless numbers were, um, were also a little better than expected. We got 202 and we were expecting somewhere in the 230s. Uh, so again, unemployment still looks good. Um, you know, retail sales, that's a good sign for, for the consumer and, and the economy. And, and these things are all kind of kind of uh, feeding into that sort of soft narrative um, more. Um, but uh, tomorrow, um, or I'm sorry, we had um, ECB out today that uh, followed suit with the Fed in one way, which is they kept rates the same in Lagarde. But Lagarde was much more hawkish than Powell was yesterday. Lagarde was saying that um, you know, she wants to hold rates steady for longer. She doesn't want to let her guard down um, and uh, into next year and uh, see, see where things sort of play out. I, I personally uh, would be shocked if the United States starts to reduce interest rates and the ECB doesn't follow next year. So I think it's fine to say that for right now at, out of the ECB. And technically, the ECB downgraded both inflation and also GDP for next year which is a little counterintuitive. You're going to say you're going to keep rates the same, but then the economy is going to slow down and also inflation will go down. I don't know. Those two things seem contradictory to me. So take it for what it's worth, I suppose. Um, I take it at, at face value and knowing that in reality next year that they'll probably reduce rates along with the U.S. Um, but all in all, you know, kind of a short update today. Um, kind of a quiet day, but but again, positive. Big story, I would say, is positive economic data, kind of more narrative for soft landing, and then interest rates that keep going lower uh, on the 10-year and, and across the curve. So with that, I will turn you back to your evenings. Thank you for listening. As always, we've got 10 days left before Christmas. So if you haven't done any shopping like I have, then probably you should start. And, and I probably won't, but uh, maybe this will get me too if I put it on camera. 
Anyways, hope you have a good night and good talking with you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.